In this presentation, you will learn about the Child and Adult Care Food Program meal patterns. After viewing this presentation, you will be able to identify the CACFP meal patterns. You will be able to review a menu and determine if the menu is meeting the CACFP meal pattern requirements. And you will learn the correct way to document substitutions or changes to the posted menu. The CACFP meal pattern includes five food groups, also referred to as meal components, that must be served in various combinations in order to receive reimbursement for meals and snacks. The five components are grain, bread bread alternate, fruits, vegetables, fluid milk, and meat meat alternate. At snack, the fruit and vegetable component is combined and considered one component. Meals served and claimed for reimbursement for infants, children, and adults must contain all the required components in the minimum amounts specified on the meal pattern chart for each age group at each meal and snack. Infants, children, and adults have slightly different meal pattern charts. We will review each meal pattern chart starting with the infants. Sites with infants follow this chart and use it as a reference to ensure all meals and snacks served are meeting each meal pattern. The infant meal pattern reflects the minimum requirements with regard to types of foods and quantities of food according to age and development. The meal requirements are significantly different for each age group. The age groups are 0 to 3 months, 4 through 7 months, and 8 through 11 months. Throughout the infant section, we will refer to Iron Fortified Infant Formula as formula and Iron Fortified Infant Cereal as infant cereal. The infant meal patterns are flexible and it allows sites to offer foods to infants only when they are developmentally ready to accept them. For breakfast, the zero through three months old only require breast milk or formula. The four to seven month olds require breast milk or formula, and if they are developmentally ready, infant cereal may be offered. Staff members should consult with parents as to when foods can be started. Lastly, 8 through 11 month olds require breast milk or formula, infant cereal, and a fruit and or vegetable. This is the infant lunch and supper meal pattern. For lunch, the zero through three month olds only require breast milk or formula. The four through seven month olds require breast milk or formula, and if they are developmentally ready, can be offered infant cereal and a fruit or vegetable. 8 through 11 month olds require breast milk or formula, infant cereal, or a meat meat alternate such as egg yolk, cooked beans, or peas, cheese, cottage cheese, or cheese food spread, and a fruit or vegetable. This is the infant snack meal pattern. For 0 through 3 month olds and 4 through 7 month olds, the only item required is breast milk or infant formula and the 8 through 11 month olds require breast milk or infant formula or full strength juice. Once the infant is developmentally ready, the center must also offer bread or crackers to the 8 through 11 month olds. This is the Colorado CACFP children's food chart sites with children use as a reference to ensure all meals and snacks served are meeting the CACFP meal patterns. The meal pattern for children specifies the minimum required meal components for breakfast, snack, and lunch or supper for children ages 1 through 12. For each component, the chart also reflects the minimum required quantities for each meal type according to age. The requirements for children are specific to the following age groups, 1 through 2 years, 3 through 5 years, and 6 through 12 years old. 
For breakfast, fluid milk, fruit, and or vegetable, and a grain bread bread alternate must be served in the minimum quantities in order to meet the meal patterns for children. The three required components must be served in order to meet the breakfast meal pattern. For lunch and supper, fluid milk, two different fruits or vegetables, grain bread bread alternate, and a meat meat alternate must be served in the minimum quantities in order to meet the meal patterns for children. The five correct components must be served in order to meet the lunch and or supper meal pattern. The snack meal pattern for children is two different components. At snack time, fruit and vegetables are considered one component. For example, if apples and carrots were served at snack, this would not meet the meal pattern requirement because both foods come from the same food component. A second non-fruit or vegetable component needs to be served, such as peanut butter, in order to meet the snack meal pattern. This is the Colorado CACFP meal pattern for adults. In sites, use this as a reference to ensure all meals and snacks served are meeting the CACFP meal patterns. These are the adult meal patterns. Meal patterns for adults specifies the minimum required meal components for breakfast, lunch or snupper, and snack. The meal components and quantities reflected in the meal pattern are minimum requirements to receive reimbursement. For breakfast, the adults require fluid milk, fruit and or vegetables, or 100% vegetable or fruit juice, and two servings of the grain bread bread alternate. For lunchtime, adults require fluid milk, two different varieties of fruit and or vegetables, or 100% vegetable or fruit juice, two servings of grain bread bread alternate, and a meat meat alternate. For supper time, adults require the same items as lunch, except milk does not have to be served. At snack time, adults require two different components in order to meet the snack meal pattern. At snack time, fruit and vegetables are considered one component. Now that we've covered the different meal patterns for infants, children, and adults, we will review a child's menu to determine if it's meeting the meal patterns. Take a minute to review the two-day menu to determine if this meal pattern follows all the requirements. The left side of the menu lists the required components for breakfast, lunch, and snack. Use this as a tool in determining if the menu is meeting the meal patterns. If you need to, you can pause the video here. Did the two-day menu meet the meal pattern? The correct answer is no. Not all the meals on the two-day menu met the meal pattern. For breakfast on day two, the menu needed to list a juice or fruit or vegetable in order to meet the meal pattern. For lunch on day one, the menu needed to list a bread bread alternate in order to meet the meal pattern. And for snack on day two, both of the foods listed come from the same component, the fruit and vegetable component. A second non-fruit or vegetable component, such as peanut butter, needed to be listed on the menu in order to meet the children's meal pattern for snack. The last item you will be learning in this presentation is how to correctly document changes to the menu. When the meal service occurs, food service staff members may make adjustments to the original plan. The menu must reflect the food items actually prepared and served at each meal. Here is an example of a menu documenting changes accurately. The item which was not served is crossed out and replaced with the actual food served. This ends the CACFP meal pattern presentation. You should now be able to identify the CACFP meal patterns for infants, children, and adults. Additionally, you should be able to review a menu and determine if the menu is meeting the CACFP meal patterns. And lastly, you have learned to correctly document substitutions or changes to the posted menu.